Hey, what's up, everyone? So back at it again with another unboxing video. This one is gonna be another round of Feast Mode flavors. I ordered some new stuff, and I also ordered some stuff that I have in the past. Uh, they had another sale, guys. I don't know if it's still up right now, but if you guys go ahead and go to their site, um, you guys can go ahead and subscribe to their email for promos and discounts. But right here, the first one that we have is the Feast Mode Sweet and Spicy Mustard. So again, guys, this is the one I got last time. This actually was really, really good. So this one does have a little bit of a uh, tang to it. So if you guys do like spicy food, this actually would be pretty good. It's not super spicy, but if you guys are very sensitive to a lot of spices, then this one might be a little bit too hot. I love this. I put this on chicken. I put this on my ground beef, and I also put this on my fish. But whatever you guys like, um, there's something else I use for my turkey, as you guys saw that I eat. That one I use the Indian curry. That one I did not refill on. But anyway, sweet and spicy mustard. This actually is one of my favorites right now, especially putting it on my chicken. And this is something new that I wanted to try. I wanted to try it actually last time, but I never got to it. This one is Mother of All Barbecue. So M-O-A-B. This is how it looks, guys. This is a fancy label. Check that out. It's super, super nice. This is something new. They said that you can actually put this on pretty much anything. Um, some of the ingredients on this, I'll read it out since I read the ingredients on some other things before. There's beet sugar, honey, salt, onion, garlic, tomato, smoked paprika, chili powder, gourmet pepper blend, habanero, herbs, and spices. So I'm assuming that this as well has a little bit of a tang to it, but I'm going to go ahead and try it actually with my next meal. I'm going to put it with my fish and rice meal, and I'm going to try to see how it is. But again, Mother of all barbecue, guys. This one, this is what I'm excited about. This is the new one. I definitely want to go ahead and try. Of course, we got the Death by Chocolate. So this is something that I re-upped on and this is something that I use with my oatmeal or my cream of wheat or cream of rice or whatever carb source I'm going ahead and using, except rice. I don't use it on rice. I use it more of like a dessert kind of a thing. That's why. So Death by Chocolate, this is definitely one of my favorites. It's more of a dark chocolate flavored. It's not really too sweet. It's not gonna be like milk chocolate or anything. But if you definitely do have like a sweet tooth or craving for chocolate, this will definitely take care of it. So once again, guys, death by chocolate. Next one we have up here is Hawaiian barbecue. So this actually is a tried and true favorite. I always use this. I actually refilled for my wife. She likes this whenever we make meals. Um, she uses this, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this to her so she can take it to work and leave it at her desk. Hawaiian barbecue, guys, you guys have some coconut in there as well. It's very distinct. Um, from what I was told, you can actually use this for desserts as well. People have been doing it in their own recipes, in their own concoctions, but use it as you will. For me, I like to use it on more fish. Um, not so much on ground beef and not so much on chicken, but like what I said, you can pretty much use it on anything, guys. Pretty much any of this is all well-rounded. You can put it on any kind of protein sources, any kind of carb sources, whatever floats your boat. Hawaiian barbecue. Next, we have cheddar bacon. So this is something that I used to use before. I don't think it was a cheddar bacon. I think it was um, some kind of other spicy spicy bacon cheese kind of a flavor it could have been this one if i'm not mistaken but i like to put this specifically on my eggs so if you guys saw any of my videos that i used to do before back in 2018 i used to use this something similar to the cheddar bacon this is actually really good because for me i eat a lot of whole eggs i'm not really big into those egg whites however on my meal plan right now i do have a day where i do eat egg whites so i'm going to put this on both i'm going to try to see how it is it's been a while since i tried something like this but i'm pretty sure it will definitely give it more of a kick cheddar bacon next one we have here is the garlic beer garlic beer guys this is excellent this is actually what i used to use for my steak specifically this next to that sean Roden limited edition one that they had i forgot what it was called guys um that was actually my favorite one but next to that the garlic beer which is what i have in my hand again this is really 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 good on steak i can't emphasize that enough put some of this put some hawaiian rock salt on there or just some regular pink himalayan salt you guys are good to go specifically steak i did try this on ground beef before as well i mean it's red meat it should taste the same however with the steak it's just so much more better garlic beer guys definitely go ahead and give this a try and then the next one is gonna be, <laughs> this is something new I was pretty excited about too as well. It's gonna be pizza parmesan. 
I don't know what I'm gonna put this on yet. Um, I'm pretty, you know what, actually I might put this on my fish for my next meal. I just wanna see how it is. Some of the ingredients in here are gonna be beet sugar, salt, onion, garlic, Parmesan, bacon, crushed pepper, tomato, mustard, and herbs, of course. So the great thing about Feastmo flavors is that they have, you know, those dessert flavors, of course, like the death by chocolate. Um, they do have veggie kind of um, herbs and spices or seasonings, as you will. And they also have the ones like, for example, the sweet and spicy mustard, um, ones that you can definitely put on like the entree meals. So it's very well-rounded, very versatile. Um, Vismo flavors, I've been using it ever since 2018, since I came back from USA's, uh, NPC USA's up in Vegas. And these are definitely a lifesaver, especially when you're prepping, especially when you eat the same things over and over again, guys. I know it gets really repetitive. I don't know, it definitely gets a lot more challenging eating the same foods. So use any of these guys. I mean, any of these, any of these. There's five right over here, there's three more. Uh, I ordered five, six, seven. I ordered seven this time, last time I ordered eight. I still do have uh, some of my coconut cream pie, my pumpkin spice, and my uh, honey, cinnamon, garlic butter or honey cinnamon butter i think it was called i still definitely use that on my oatmeal as well too but i you know I, I go through these so fast because they're so good they're so delicious and once again they make the meals taste a lot more better a lot more enjoyable and it makes prep a lot more easier but anyway you guys go ahead and check them out feast more flavors uh i definitely am trying to work with them to see if i can get some kind of ambassadorship so that way i can give you guys a discount code that way you guys can go ahead and try them out and try all the flavors and see how well you guys like it and I have no complaints, guys. I mean, this is something, again, that I've been using since 2018 consistently. I've always been using this. Uh, of course, I've been using other seasonings as well, like what I mentioned, pink Himalayan salt. I always salt all of my foods, but definitely I always add any of these Feast Moon flavors on there just to give it that extra kick. And once again, to make meal prep a lot more enjoyable and fun. But anyway, you guys, this is your coach, Sumo Miyazaki, back at it again with another unpackaging, unboxing video. and. Of course, we gotta go with the Feastmo flavors. But as always, you guys, till next time, go ahead and try these ones. We'll catch you guys later on another video. If you have any questions, please go ahead and message me. If you guys have any interest in personal training, online coaching as well, you can go ahead and text me. Once again, my number is open to all of you guys, 808-797-0459. You guys can also message me on Instagram, S-U-M-O-808-R-M, as well as Facebook. You can follow me at my name, Sumo Miyazaki. Simple as that. DM me. <laughs> yes, honey, I'm almost done. Sorry, my daughter's telling me to hurry up so I can carry her. But anyway, you guys, till next time, much love and aloha. Take care.